Now's about as good a time as any to start the video. We're using a top secret lure that I can't even actually show you guys yet. Me and me old mate Chris O here. We're out. We're just trolling along the flats. Last year I did this for the first time and we caught juvenile black marlin. Very close to shore. Today we've come to try and do it again and we're trolling this top secret lure. We saw a couple of fish, bang on, screaming drag, marlin on, hook pull. A little bit devastating, but good signs that they were here. Good signs that the lure worked. Brooksy decides to put the drone up. As you guys know, I've been learning with the drone. I'm not the best drone pilot on planet Earth and I'm not that confident with the drone. Put it up, saw a couple of fish. I'll show you the footage now. As I'm coming in to land the drone, the boat's going one way, it's windy, drone's going the other way, so I was kind of rushing to grab the drone, grab it out of the air. And as I grabbed it, I reached, bang, grab. Strong hand. Marlon right there, Marlon right there. Oh my God, eat, 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 he's coming, eat. He's coming, he's coming, he's coming, he's not coming. Oh my God. Oh, he's on it, he's on it, he's on it, just keep going. He's on it. See if he comes back. Do you see his beak? Yeah. Oh my God, bro. Oh, he's on it again, he's on it again. He's still there on this one. He's still there, he's still there. Look at his beak, man. He's just smashing it. He's still there. Is that the coolest thing you've ever seen? He's on the back one now, is he? Yeah, he's yeah. on the back one. Yes. Oh, he's dropped it. Oh my God, man. Chris O. <laughs> that is just sick. <laughs> How? I don't know. He was big, man, and fired up. Swing around slow. Before the marlin interrupted us, um, I nearly chopped my finger off with the drone, basically. Oh, he's on it, he's on it. He's still there, man. He's hitting this back one. Hold that, hold that. I'm gonna try and feed it to him a bit. He's been chasing he's that so thing keen. for like 100 meters. Yeah, anyway. Drone hit my finger. I don't know if you can see that. I'll try and film it a bit better, but it's gone through probably one third of my little pinky finger. Um, we have blood all over the boat, all over me. And I can't believe that Marlon just ate it like eight times, man. Just double back now. I can't believe that. What an opening to a video. From the video last year, which is now the most viewed video I've ever had on YouTube, it's like nearly 3 million views. We were live baiting them, so we were seeing them like that. We put the live bait on, pitch it in front of them. They'd have time to eat, eat the live bait and you get them. Now, obviously, we're trolling these lures and I'm not that knowledgeable on the whole marlin fishing thing. So I'm playing around with the hooks trying to get the right setup going on, but we're seeing them, they're eating the lure, they're loving the lure, we just gotta get one to stick. Oh, he's gonna go it. <laughs> wow, man, did you turn it on? Yeah. <laughs> That's a fair dinkum dingo, man. <laughs> That's so rad, man. I hope we just go, if I can get it in his mouth. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> Ah! <laughs> <laughs>
Biggest bait. <laughs> you know what they say, Chris O. Big tuna, big boy. Tide's gonna come in. It's pretty shallow here, as you can see. It's about yay deep. <laughs> so we're gonna drop him here. We're gonna pass the rod to the boys on the beach, and then we, me and Chris O are gonna anchor this boat, get set for the night. Go okay, with free spool there. Try not to run over the line. Hopefully we've got enough line. Hopefully the bully's not too big. And now we wait. Big hooker. I don't think it's going to take too long, eh? Nah. It's a really big bait, though. <laughs> Isn't it? Yeah. How's she looking? Not much line left on the reel. <laughs> the bait's deployed. Anchor the boat. Hopefully the rod doesn't get dragged into the sand. I'll loosen the drag rod off, so it should be all right. Skits bit anchoring. Boat anchored. Pretty sick. Start to be here again. How's the dingo on the drone before? Yeah, I've never seen one come out, especially in the day. I've only ever had footprints around me swaggle. Desperate times, desperate measures here, live bait. Just got snipped on the first one. And this one's getting chased right now. I can see the thing chasing it. I don't know if that's a marlin or a mackerel. It's a mackerel. Oh yeah, now I'm on. Look at that. We're on. Come up, come up, come up and jump, come up and jump. Or are you a shark? Oh, it's coming up. What is this? Looks very sharky to me, especially now. Doesn't it? <laughs> You think a marlin would have jumped by now? Shark. Probably should get a live bait, thank God. <laughs> yeah, I think one of them yak it away. It's causing a bit of rain. Is he a bit dead? It's going to be a full time job here. No, Ned. Oh, we'll go back around. <laughs> Finally! Here, yeah, you fight him. Just keep the line tight, bruh. Yeah, bro. Oh. I'm just gonna keep moving forward. Just keep, keep winding, keep winding. Oh, Chris O. Chris O. Just keep winding. Nice, bro. The popper. How's he going? Fuck yeah, bros. It's gonna slow down. Yeah, we got him here, boys. Well done. Nice one, mate. 
The beer can taser. <laughs> I don't have any tags, no, but open to it. Look at him, bro. Beautiful fish, Chris O. <laughs> He's so sick. All right, um, just catch up to him a bit. Yep. Move back, walk back. Hang on. Just walk backwards. No more winding, no more winding. I don't know where else to go. <sighs> you gotta walk back to the back of the boat, bro. Right no, no, you're at the front of the boat. Oh. Hold on. Oh my God. <laughs> no more winding. Yeah. Got him. We got him. We got it. <laughs> Keep the boat going forward. Saddle. Saddle. Look at this thing, Chris O. Strong. He's so strong. Um, I don't know where this hook is. Can you just hold that? Um, hold. oh, nothing yet. Just trying to oh, look at that. That's hooked him perfectly. Get your phone and get a little video if you want. Uh, Hooks out. I just need you to, um, look at that. BKK 7 0 inline single. What an incredible creature, man. You should see how barred up he is. Like, my psycho blue. Quick, 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 quick. Yeah, walk in. Keep the boat there, bro. Get the tag pole. Bro? Yeah, I'm filming on my head. Quick, quick, quick. Just stab him here. Just gentle, gentle. Yep, go ahead. Him. Yep, perfect. Tag in. Yeah, yeah, Chris, so quick. Oh, come this way. Quick, grab, you come in, come in, quick. Ready, one, two, three, hold up. Lower, 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 lower. There you go, there you go. Keep moving. Yeah. Sweet. Sweet, sweet, sweet. Okay. Do you want to send him? Yeah. Yeah, yeah you grab him. Two. You grab him. Yeah, he's sharp. Man. You got to push him. Give him a little push. Swim, buddy. He'll be sweet. Keep pushing. Oh, still going out. Which one? Oh, yeah, yeah. Come and 
coming back to me again. Wow. Crystal. Woo. Well done, bro. I thought he'd give us a little rundown on how we've made this uh, personalized teaser. Um, and I'm gonna attribute that catch predominantly to the homemade teaser. Purely because Chaz and the other guys from Harvey Bay Sports Fishing, they've all raised a few fish today and they've all got these crazy fucking teasers out, all these flashy things on them. We don't have a teaser. So Chris I actually come up with the idea, why don't we make one out of beer cans? So we're gonna show you exactly how we do it, how we do it. We had a bit of a leader malfunction with our last one, we got heaps of line twist. So we're gonna modify our current one, we're gonna make it a little longer, a little bigger, a little louder, a little noisier. We're gonna show you how it's done. So you get the Panthers. You stab the bottom of the tin out. And then you get your pre-made shark rig and you just slot it through. Through. You just slide it through. Nah, we'll have to go Pretty again. easy, eh? <laughs> <laughs> After a few tins, it gets a bit hard. <laughs> Viewers at home are probably wondering, <laughs> where'd you get all these empty tins from? Chris six, oh. six hours of trolling. <laughs> they accumulate quickly on the troll, eh? I know. Especially, you got it's harder when you crush them too. Here we go. Right. There we go. Like, like we said, it's imperative you have the shit beers down the bottom near the stinger. Good beers up the top of the teaser. That's going to give you the bigger blue. How many cans are we whacking on this one, Chris? We got about another 10. <laughs> We'll give you a look at the finished product, surely. We're obviously having a good time here. The vibe is up. We went through the doldrums. Hours of no marlin. We've got one and we're happy. We're up to bed. The modified product. We've added a few extra tins. You can see down here, just in case the big bully comes, we got the circle hook ready for deploy. Look at that. She actually works the tree man. Look at it! It actually could be a new thing in marlin fishing because it could be the noise. Yeah, I reckon it was. 10 10. Holy shit, you guys are not going to believe this. We're all in bed in the swags. Dingo's walking around us. We were kind of joking about it earlier. But a dingo has stolen. Lockie's drone, and we're after him. We're tracking him in the bush. No good? No, good. This is probably that one that was lingering around you, Brooks. It might not have been the one who took it. That's thousands of dollars <laughs> worth of like expensive camera and all the footage from today. Stolen by a dingo. One growled at you as well, eh? Yeah. I felt my swag move and one was beside my swag. Alright, it's a new day, final day. We just popped in at the uh, local coffee shop. See Charles and Liv. Chris is deploying the um, top water 10 tin teaser. And we're gonna try and get one more marlin. On the flying fish, boys! Flying fish on, flying fish on. We're on here. Hot this whole trip, we've been trying to catch a fish on this new top secret lure. I don't even know what it's called yet, but it's a flying fish 
imitation the guys at Nomad have made and we've had multiple hits on it and this is the first one that's hooked up we just got the assists off the back hopefully he stays connected let's get that teaser in as well Chris -o. we're literally just heading back to get our stuff and start making our way home See if we can get in and apply up a bit. So you wanna just keep trying. Oh, it chucks me gloves and shit actually. So you wanna keep the line like at the side of the boat, if that makes sense. Yeah. Come on, buddy. So cool, man. Um, check us out other glove. Look at that, little baby marlin. And then I'm gonna pass you this rod in a minute. It's gonna be a little bit tough to grab. Whoa, 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 not good, not good, let go. Chris. Yeah, that's better. Stop turning now. Just go straight, straight, that's good. That's good. Stay there, buddy. Stay hooked, stay hooked, stay hooked. We got him, we got him. Go a little bit quicker. He's so beautiful, man. Look at that. The flying fish, baby. <laughs> Woo! This sis got him. Look at that beautiful creature, man. Boys might have to sit up there. What a beautiful fish. And there you go, Damon. The flying fish works on the blacks as well. This is how all these new Nomad lures, they go through testing, guys like myself, Matty, Mick Hassett, Hedges, go out and put them to the test and go through a lot of testing phases. And that just shows the flying fish works, man. That's so cool. Hey, 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 settle, 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 settle. We're just going to try and de-hook him. We've got twin assist. They're the um, BKK Lentus assist. That one's out. Now we've got one swinging around. So we're going to try and just get this other one out. A lot of people marlin fishing, they try and just pop the hook off. But we want to get him out. Make sure he can swim off. All right. Come on, buddy. Fuck, he wasn't getting off. I'll tell you that much. Just don't hook me. Don't hook me. I'm trying to help you. Trying. Oh, I got it. I got it. Right. Yeah. Oh, now this one's going back in. Oh, fuck. Not good. Not good. Okay. Flying fish out. We're going to send him. When you're ready, mate. When you're ready. Go, buddy. There he goes. Wow! They always get a bit doughy afterwards, but you can see he's still upright. He's going to slowly kick his way off. He's golden. Yes, Brooksy. Job done, brass. Woo! There we go. A little bit chaotic there, but... um. That makes it all worthwhile. We set out to come and get one on the flying fish. First day, had so many bites and just couldn't find the hooks, but um, ended up with the two marlins for the trip, one for Chriso and that one just then. So that's a win in my book. And like I was saying, with the with new lures like that, it's great to, um, to like see someone
everyone's idea come to fruition and see them work. So, Damon, congratulations, they work. You obviously know they work on blue marlin and yellowfin, but they also work on black marlin. So, very good little lure. You guys will see them coming soon in stores, both in Oz, the US, all over the world. So, if you're into this kind of fishing, marlin fishing, all that kind of stuff, definitely get a couple of those little flying fish in your kit. They come in a few sizes, or they're going to come in a few sizes. And um, they look incredible on the water. We're gonna head back now. We got a stiff northerly breeze, so hopefully she's not too wild. We might even troll for a little bit more, I'm not sure. And um, yeah, let's go. Hopefully we make it home. <laughs> 